two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Manga Pod Book Club. We are a weekly podcast in which we get together after we have done read all or part of a manga. <laughs> And we discuss it with friends of love and lots and lots of spoilers and lots and lots of derpiness. Hello! Welcome! It's Manga Pod Book Club in a nutshell, and we are finally all here. Oh, shit. I know, it's been so <laughs> long! Yeah. It, is, it has been a month since all of us have been here at once. Yeah, half of that month was my fault because I wasn't here the last two times. <laughs> my bad. Hey, Goku! Wait, who was it? Oh, then it was Daza. I think I was the, no. I was the first one, and then it was Zander. Gaza, and then it was Yoku twice in a row, right? Yeah. 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 Slackers. <laughs> Good on you, Aaron. Good on you. <laughs> but Aaron, you've been here the whole time because you're That's a boss. That's right. Oh, uh, she missed the one stuff. I'm dead. Wait. Oh my God. Wait. Hold uh, on. Keep talking. Uh, I don't uh, know if we talk, want to because what? what's happening? Uh, 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 wait. I'm calling uh, it. She's getting her snuggie. As her uh, best okay. friend, I'm calling what she's doing right now. Why? What? Ah! Uh, okay. Let's all look at her. In the background. Oh, she's gone. Let, let's all just. Who called it? <laughs> this uh, girl. Uh, yeah. Oh God, it's so great. I almost forgot about my snuggie. Yes. I was wondering. I was like, is she not again? Yes, it's beautiful. I, it was still packed. I haven't opened my suitcase until now. Oh, uh, is it not super comfy? I wear oh mine God, like. Best. I wear mine like a robe. My mom like got me the child size version. She was like, I'm I'm pretty sure that the adult size wouldn't fit you. And I was like, Ugh, mom. And then when I put it on and stood up, it like fit me perfectly. <laughs> like it doesn't hit the ground. It's like right before the ground. I was like, fine, whatever. Fine. You know what you're talking about. Yes, yes. Yeah. Americans. Hey, you're just jealous that you don't have a Snuggie. Don't yeah, hate on it's I don't like snuggie. 35 Some degrees dish. here. I wouldn't want, want to wear a snuggie. You want a snuggie? You want a snuggie, Dazza? You want a snuggie? It's 35 it. degrees here. It's hot. Oh, gosh dang it. Hang on. I locked David out of the house again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, manga pie. Keyword again. Again, yeah. That's the best part. Well, while she's gone, should we read the, the description? Oh, uh, we should not? tell people what we're doing first. Oh, did she not? No, I think she, she did. Wait, wait, did she, like, come together in friendship? And then, she yeah, said she did, that, she yes. Did that. She did that, she did that. Where oh, okay. are you guys at? Your come brains on. are not here. in the game. I said, hey, you're the one that ran off to get a Snuggie. Hey. Get your, get your head in the game. Get, get, yeah, get, I ran get, off to get, get a Snuggie, game. and I still know. <laughs> okay, fine, we'll do the, we'll do the description. Yeah, right. we're going to do the Dr. Dazza description. This is the way that we will start off every manga pod, and then we will each give you a spoiler flea recommendation telling you whether or not we think that you should read it, and then we'll jump into spoilers, but we'll give you a heads up first. All right. right. Daza, <clears throat> do the description. Kurozu Cho, a small fog town, a, f a small fog bound town on the coast of Japan is cursed. According to Shichi Saito, the withdrawn boyfriend of teenager Kiri Agoshima, the town is haunted not by a person or a being, but by a pattern, Uzumaki, or spiral. The hypnotic secret shape of the world, it manifests itself in small ways. <clears throat> small, yeah. Seashells, ferns, whirlpools in water, whirlwinds in air, and in large ways, the spiral marks on people's bodies, the insane obsessions of Suichi's father, the voice from the cochlear, that's not really big, the cochlear's like really small, in your inner ear, as the madness spreads, it, it the inhabitants of Kurosu Cho are pulled ever deeper as if into a whirlpool from which there is no return. <gasps> Ellipses. Ellipses! <laughs> That's actually a, a very good description. I, yeah. I didn't hear the description last time. I didn't know what that Uzumaki meant spiral either. So, uh, this is all new to me. <laughs> Everybody that went into this expecting Naruto, you were so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, oh god. It's funny, because- when I- Sorry, keep going. I was going to say, when I googled Uzumaki to find out some more information about it, I actually came up with Naruto. Did you mean Naruto Uzumaki? That's what plan. it did like, to me. That's exactly no. what I was going to say. I, I thought it was like that. the backstory of Naruto's family or something. I'm just kidding. I, I knew it was about Naruto, but man. maybe so. so oh, it that's, wasn't about oh, Naruto. I get it. Naruto, he has the whole spiral thing on his stomach. Uzumaki. Okay, that makes sense. And he loves oh. ramen, which has... <laughs> yeah, that makes yes. sense. That makes sense now. Yeah. So I missed the summary. Did anyone explain what we do? 
Um, guys- I explained that we were going to do the summary and then our spoiler for you recommendations, and then we'll jump into spoilers. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. So, who would like to start with spoiler free recommendations? I would. Go, Dazza. Okay. Well, uh, I would like to recommend this if you are into horror, thriller, all them types of stuff. It's quite realistic in the way it portrays its characters, and it's very, very, very gruesome. And it very quickly spirals out of control. Ha! Ha! You stole that from me! That was my pun! (laughs) Um, like, if you tell a story, it actually does spiral. Um, and each chapter also spirals as well in plot until it gets as... yeah. Oh no. Wait, he's gonna catch up and it's gonna be hilarious. Anyway, or um, this is the beginning. I recommend if you've read Gyo or you've seen the, the film. What? I'm not dropping. Am I dropping? <laughs> Good Am I right? You're yes. back. You're back. Okay. Anyway, um, if you've if you've seen Gyo, the film, the animated film, I think it's by Aniplex in America, uh, and you enjoy enjoyed that at least a little bit you'll probably enjoy uzumaki because it's i couldn't same, stop same. thinking about gyo when i was reading this it was just, yeah it's not that it it's like good. exactly the same it, like the story isn't even the same but it's just so, no but it's, 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 it's not that weird is it's it by the same. that's probably yeah. why that's probably why yeah okay. makes um, sense. the the film apparently is very different to the manga but anyway um but yeah it, it's it's really intriguing, it's really psychological, it gets into your mind, it literally just seeps itself into your mind and it doesn't leave. It, I was seeing spirals everywhere and I still am <laughs> and it's kind of creeping me out a little bit. Including when I made my coffee before Manga Pot, I was like spinning it, I was like, oh crap, it's a spiral. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't want it anymore. I rarely recommend it if you're into those kind of stuff. Honestly, I do. Boom. I... Um, I'll go next. <laughs> um, I don't want to interfere it. with anybody, but um, I 100% agree. I think if you love the genre of horror, or you like love being disturbed, or just gruesome <laughs> out when you're reading something, then you should 100% make sure to check this out, because it's not just gory or disturbing for the sake of being disturbing. Like, it's very well written, and it's very mm. well done, and the structure is very sound, and so it's just overall, it's a very well done horror manga. And a lot of times, for me, it takes a lot to get me like squeamish, but this had even minor things that I wouldn't expect to like bother me. It made them scary and not just in like jump scare kind of ways. Like it was just the psychological, like what Dazzo was saying. It was super twisted, not what I was expecting at all. I did not. Ah, twisted. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Uh, sorry. That was continue. unintentional. No, thank you for pointing out any puns. You're welcome. We need to catch all of those. Um, we have pun me, so. So I recommend it 100%. <laughs> I think it's really fantastic. It is disturbing, though, so don't ever eat it. Don't ever read it while you're eating. Can I just don't say? ever eat it while you're reading. Don't ever eat it while you're reading. <laughs> just and if you're French, you'll never want to eat anything again. That's true. Escargot is no longer going to be appealing to Oh anybody. my god. Escargot is Escar don't go. Oh wow. Oh. But that's a spoiler, <laughs> so we won't go any further. Escar um, don't. I can go next. I I freaking loved this manga. I absolutely recommend it. Um he is incredible at crafting something that's really bizarre and intriguing like beyond the horror and the disturbing nature of it you're also just like find yourself thinking about it just in a wow that was really interesting sort of way and um also since everybody keeps mentioning that it is like pretty disturbing you should know it's disturbing immediately it doesn't slowly ramp it happens quick <laughs> first chapter from like yeah, the so first chapter right just out. like yeah, so if you wanted to, like, see whether or not you were going to be able to handle it, you'll know pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I absolutely recommend it if this is the sort of genre that you like. Um, but the art is very, very well done, and because of that, it's very easy for you to visualize and take in the information in a very graphic way. So, yeah. Uh, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. 
this <laughs> this was a big surprise. I knew it was like a horror. I knew it was kind of disturbing going into it because I I've heard about it before, uh, like people on forums talking about it. Oh, this is such a this if you like horror, creepy manga, check this out. Never checked it out until now, and yeah, it doesn't play around. First chapter throws you right in there with some twisted, <laughs> twisted stuff. <laughs> it's just crazy. I had to do it twice. <laughs> it's like I had to throw it in there. <laughs> but I, I, I can't recommend it to every horror fan because I don't think that every horror fan would enjoy this because it just, it's just so messed up. Like some of the stuff that happens in there is just it's not just like like scary. It's it's just it's messed up. It's just completely messed up. But yeah, like Dodger said, just the first chapter pretty much kind of it's it's a really good way to figure out if you're going to enjoy it or not. Like if you're not gonna enjoy the first chapter, you're probably not gonna enjoy the rest of it. It's not like it gets a it does get a little bit creepier here and there, but like that's pretty much how it is throughout the whole time. There's of course the story progresses and there's some stuff happening. Um so I, I did enjoy it. I guess I enjoyed it. I don't know. I don't even know if I enjoyed it because I didn't. I didn't enjoy it, but I enjoyed it. I read it all in one sitting, and I was kind of sitting there like, like I didn't. I don't think I blinked for like three hours when I was reading it. I don't know. It's it was, mesmerizing. It was, uh -huh. it was so weird. <laughs> Gosh dang it! That was intentional. <laughs> it's so. It's just. It's. It's a very unique manga as well because not. I've read a lot of like creepy manga out there, but they're not like as creepy as people describe them to be <laughs> but this one is as creepy as we're trying to describe it to be so yeah. check out the first chapter if you're interested um uh, as all of us said we all recommend it yeah uh, give it a look that's a very good point if you want to find out whether you're gonna like it like you guys said first chapter you you'll it. know <laughs> yeah you want to find if you like it you should read it you should read don't take our word for it. But like, there it's are, short. There are, it's short. It's very short. This is the whole. Yeah. This is the whole. This is the whole manga. Yeah. We're talking chapters. about all twenty chapters. It's twenty That's chapters. That's all it is. Three volumes. Quick yeah. read. One sitting. Like I read it one sitting. Dodger read it one sitting. I'm not sure about. The I other read two. it in like mostly like mostly one sitting. Yeah. I was sorry. waiting for the turkey to yeah, get it's, done. It's so I had to read some read some spirals. But I I know that there hey. were. There were a couple yeah. of you that were planning on reading it for today and said I couldn't do it, I couldn't finish it. Mm -hmm. So I got a I lot mean, of tweets a lot. saying that they couldn't, they couldn't actually finish it. Yeah. My favorite ones. Were I'm not surprised. Was like, why, why would you make me read this before bed? And I'm just like, oh, dude, I'm doing my the exact favorite, same thing. Sorry. <laughs> my favorite were the people that were like, I really wish I hadn't been eating when I decided to start. I was like, I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely understandable why some people couldn't. You know, finish it. It's yeah. all good. Let's, you don't have to feel let's ashamed. Just, so, let's, <laughs> let's go into we, spoiler zone. Yeah, I was gonna just, say. Like, actually, let's, talk about it. Let's tell everybody yeah. if you do not want to be spoiled, now is the time to take your leave so that you do not hear any spoils. Like we're gonna be talking about the entire thing. There's nothing here that is not gonna be talked about. Probably is nothing that if you don't want to be spoiled, you're gonna get upset, and we refuse to make you upset. It's your own fault. And you're saying you here. Unless you don't care, you can. <laughs> I was, I was gonna, like that brain fart right there was me almost, <laughs> almost saying nobody in chat posting spoilers, but that would have been completely. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, and then there was like an internal debate, and then I realized that I was like pausing, like, and I was like, wait, wait. there's no, anyway. there's no wrong so, bacon butts. Anyway, there's no wrong bacon butts this week. There is no absolutely be a wrong unless you guys are spoiling about something else, but in that case, you're off topic, and we'll get timed out anyway. So, just saying. Oh, okay. Yes, let's oh, dive into like spoilers. A, this is a complete let's dive open into spoilers. discussion. I, this is a great discussion. Yeah, yeah, there's no fear of ha what happened last week happening again. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, that was my fault, too. <laughs> but let's talk about, should we talk about expectations, or should we talk about favorite disturbing moment? I think we should Can leave I a favorite just, disturbing moment yeah. at the end. Okay, that's, that's expectations. Quick. I just want to start by asking, whose idea was it to read this? You yeah, suck. I was thinking the same thing. I had never even heard of this before. I've heard of it, but I, I never, I, it's kind of, I heard of it a long time ago, but you, okay, you, you, <laughs> <laughs> your It partner. was my decision to put y'all through this. <laughs> but, uh, okay, you saying uh, expectations, did you expect it to be like this, Aaron? I read the first three chapters, and so I knew before and I was like when I read those three I was really engulfed in it yeah because like, um, people are dying yeah I was 
exactly. And I was like, and they're dying in these horrifying ways. They're like wrapping themselves up into a spiral to fit into a bathtub and just killing them. And I was like, oh, and she's stabbing her ear. She's stabbing her ear. Oh my oh. god. I was like, stop, don't know. I know, right? And so I was like, oh, the doctors are good. They're they're all fine. And then it's just like she does it anyway. And I'm just like, that was an epic panel yeah. where she's like holding it up oh, and she's kind of looking at it. And then she's just like, bam. Oh god, yeah. it was so great. And so I knew that that's what ha was happening. I did not expect it to go as far as it did. Like where it went, I was like, even I was prepared for those three. And then what was happening afterwards? I was still getting creeped out. I was still being like. What is going? What? How is this? Ooh, I'm terrified. Like every single chapter was yeah. just a step up. So I was not expecting it to do what it did. Um, I only knew because I think we read. Is that the same description that we read last <coughs> week? That is because yes. It is. God. Okay. The only thing that I remembered was that it was about a town obsessed with spirals. That's all that I remembered, and so I was like, <laughs> all right. And then I knew it was horror. I was like, okay. Oh, well, that so, was character kind of spirals get. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but like I, I think girly like, con, I, it's fine. I love horror stuff, and I had absolutely no faith. Yeah, that a manga about spirals that says it's a horror manga was going to actually be scary. Yeah. And I don't think I found it scary, but I found it so disturbingly intriguing. Like I didn't yeah. want to stop reading, and I was actually like kind of sad when it was over. I was like, I want to yeah. know more. I enjoyed it in a twisted way. I want to know more. <laughs> so, bad. Um, so yeah, my expectations were definitely blown out of the water, and this is probably this has probably become like one of my favorite manga now. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's really I would agree Anyways. with that. Yeah, it's great. Um, I see. I, I heard about uh, Uzumaki when I, after I watched Gyo. Because Gyo is made by the same author, and uh, I was looking into Gyo and seeing where it came from, and I was doing my review of it, and I was like, "Oh, there's the manga, but I should read that." Never got around to reading it, but I heard of Uzumaki as well, and I'm just like, "Oh, okay, whatever. I don't really care too much." <laughs> and I, I personally had a kind of idea how disturbing it could be, just because of of Gyo. Yeah, Gyo is pretty damn disturbing. I I didn't think it would go kind of that far, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like 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 uh, Dodger said, it wasn't scary. I didn't find it too scary, but it did make me shiver and it did make me disturbed. Especially scenes like the the ear one, right? And the centipede was going to the ear and saying, oh "I just think it's going to your sorrow." I'm just like, no, 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 no. And uh, it was just stuff like that. Um. Uh, yeah, what made that seem really creepy was that it was that like she was sleeping, you know. We sleep yeah. too at night. You know, that could happen yeah, to no. us. Damn, you know? Yeah. And it <sighs> has this really, really intense way just to get into your mind and make you think, especially if you're reading it at night. If you're reading it at night and you're gonna go to bed, you're probably gonna have nightmares. And you get up and go to the toilet, you just see spirals everywhere, especially in the toilet when you're flushing it. Uh, it didn't help. Yeah. That, it didn't help that the marker reader that I use on my phone to read manga is actually got a spiral for its logo. So I'm opening and just like, no, I do not. That's a very bad sign. <laughs> so I was, you're surrounded by spirals all the time and you just don't pay attention, but this manga kind of makes you pay attention and think, oh my gosh, it's following me. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's absolutely fantastic the way it does that. I know a lot of people aren't into that kind of thing. And the manga does get a little bit out of hand, but I think it just spirals out of control by the end of it. <laughs> yeah. That's the point. Um, so... <gasps> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if that's what the mangaka wanted? Like, the whole thing was so that he could be like, it spirals out of control. I, I actually thought about that as well. <laughs> it's fine. Like, the the thing is, it. It, it's really funny because that's how... <laughs> As I was reading this, I was really thinking of Gurren Lagann at the same time, because the way Gurren Lagann is kind of worked up in the storytelling-wise is that it spirals. So it starts off really slow, and you just meet characters, and then it kind of spirals into galaxies and stuff like that. Mm. Um, this does it pretty much the same way, storytelling-wise. You start off quite slowly, you get sort of intrigued, you get like one person dies, another people die, and then groups of people die, and then you've got the whole entire city yeah, becoming everybody. a spiral. Yeah. 
freaking literally the entire Swiss city. Serpents. The, the entire city becomes a spiral. And then um, I don't know if you guys read the Lost Chapter as well. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I read that. The yeah, chapter. I was wo- I was reading that then, and I'm just like, it's it's like going on here. So I was that the Star see- Chapter? Yeah, that was the okay. Star and the Galaxies, the yeah. Spiral Galaxies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, if you actually look at our like uh, universe and how it revolves around like a black hole, it's actually a spiral as well. Yeah, man. So spirals are everywhere. Spooky. So it, it's just, it gets in your head and it's fantastic. And I don't like horror manga too much. Or the only reason being is that I can't get into them because they're trying to be scary or they're trying to be free or they're trying to get into your mind and they just don't for me. I'm just very, uh, to everything. But here it just did it and it was fantastic. Also, no, I'll talk about that later. Yoku? I think the reason why, like like you said, like horror mangas try too hard a lot of the times. Mm. But this one, like they try with all these like jump scares or just like random deaths like that mm. don't have meaning. They just want to throw in a death just to make it kind of gory mm. or just just to kind of make you like, oh, that that kind of stands out, all right, right. But it, it's it doesn't stand out really. They just it's fake. But all these deaths, like they had they had a meaning. You know, the, like even to build characters, uh, like that main uh, main character girl with the hair and the, the other girl with the hair. There was all that, like the whole building relationship. Like she wasn't even really believing him. You know, her boyfriend uh, yeah. about all that stuff until all all that went down, yeah. and um, she got her hair just got a mind of her own. Tried to kill her as well. Yeah, what the fuck was up? With that? I was. It made, <laughs> I'm glad that she finally was like, hey, you know what? I think this stuff is happening. Because I was like, you saw so much shit go down. You I saw, know. like, a girl's yeah. eye. Like, she just became, like, a vortex spiral. And yet she's like, every single time something happens and her boyfriend's like, this is what's happening. She'd be like, are you Even sure? with chapter one. Even from chapter one, her dad <laughs> was, was like, like... And then he, like, spiraled into a bathtub. And, like, what? How, what? And you're like, no. There's no broke his thing. own bones to turn Guys, himself yeah. into a spiral. Can you imagine yourself doing that and what would happen to you it'd be so painful i, yeah. I couldn't it would be I, uh, well actually it's, it's no, physic- it would, yeah. I, I don't know if that's physically possible to like i mean fingers. after you broke a certain number of bones you'd pass out from the pain yeah so but the spiral you kept him going they damaged that much that you just go on that's that's crazy but i mean like <laughs> like crazy. in chapter one he he was like, my dad's acting super weird, mm-hmm. right? And then in chapter two, it's my mom is going crazy because of my dad. Like, I need to keep my mom safe. Mm-hmm. And then, like, from there is when he really starts to be like, something is wrong. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, and then she, down. yeah, and then you guys are right. Like, after everything with her hair happens, she's like, okay. <laughs> I guess she had to experience it herself. Yeah. yeah. The other thing is, um, the boyfriend, uh, Suchi, he actually thought something was wrong to start off with. Yeah. And if you remember, he actually went to school outside of the town. Yeah. And when, That's he, right. w- when he came back, he's just like, he thought oh, the feel I of feel the town was wrong. Back. Yeah. He noticed he wanted the spirals even like, yeah, yeah even just like, like those, those spirals in, uh, or little whatever in um in the those aren't in the other town yeah Yeah. they're like there's not that many you know like that's weird you know this town is weird i want to get out of here he's he noticed why didn't they just cry just well after a time they couldn't leave but i was agreeing i was like when did that happen because there is like enough time where you think she would finally be like hey family we should get out of here (laughs) i was was yelling at it I was like, get out of this town. Why are you still here? And then, yeah. you know, eventually they're like, well, they can't leave. And I was like, but he left before. Exactly. Like, it hasn't always been this way. Yeah. Why did he come back? It was like, oh, yeah. I'm feeling weird feeling about this town. Why did you go back to the town? It's like, your parents are dead now. Just go. Like, there's not that much yeah. chemistry between yeah, you and your girl girlfriend girl. anyway. <laughs> just go. She brought him food every day. Yeah. Even if our cats. The and they died in each other's arms. Right, okay, oh, what the, the hurricane fuck? thing. Wait, the hurricane thing. When the he was like, the eye is after you, specifically. And then the one girl walked out that looked like her, and then I got sucked up. And I was like, why is she, why is the hurricane after her? I don't understand. But, like, even so, I was like, some stuff, like, didn't make sense, but it still didn't make it, like, not scary, like, not creepy. I, I think, I think like, that... Sorry, keep going. No, you don't. 
I was just going to say, I think there's there's something to be said for the fact that she's one of the only people in the town that was never affected by the spiral. Yeah, except except her, hair. her hair. But her mental, like, Mentally, she never, like, she yeah. never fell yeah, into Yeah, even during it. the hair, she still, she was like, man, like, I don't want this attention. Like, damn, not like the other girl. She was just completely into it. It's like, look at my hair! It's like, no, nobody wants that hair! Like, Stop! <laughs> the but hair. yeah, like, I, I didn't, like, I, okay, when, when I read the first few chapters, I already kind of thought, like, okay, I know what to expect from this now. This is disturbing. This is weird as hell. I know what to expect. All these spiral deaths, all these, like, weird, you know. But when the snail stuff happened, I wasn't expecting that. That's where the I was just, snail like, stuff I was, was like, the mega weird. <sighs> yeah, I was just like, what's up with this kid coming out when it's raining? Look at him, he's all sweaty, and he's, like, little chubby, sweaty dude, like, coming to school when it's raining. And then, like, like he's getting slower and slower, and then he has this, like, bump on his back. and Oh, my gosh. And he turns into a snail. <laughs> see, I love the bumps. Oh my god! See, see during that scene, like uh, I, re I remember Garden of Words. The uh, main character of that would never go to school during a storm because he would always go to the, the like a place. Right, um, yeah. so I was uh, thinking, oh, this kid's just the opposite. He just doesn't go to school when it's sunny outside, even though that's a bit strange. But he just doesn't. And then he turns into a, a, a snail, and I'm like, okay, that's that's weird. And then someone else turns into a snail, and they keep them in a cage. And, I'm sorry, and, then, and then they, they have sex. They have snail sex. And they have sex. And then I'm just like, what the fuck is And then all the, eggs, all the eggs get crushed by a teacher, and the teacher the shows up in a couple of days. Like, well, what's up with the teacher? It's the teacher just a cycle. Like, it's wait, 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 a cycle. The teacher, the teacher didn't just turn into a snail. He had, like, he was made out of eggs. Did you, did you notice that? Yes. What was up with that? Yeah. And then everyone's just like, oh, he turned into a snail as well. I'm like, that's not normal. Yeah. I know. People, I like how people, people just people like... Need... I would book it out to... of there. I think from the, yeah. like, the first snail. I'll book it out after oh, the first snail. Not the third snail. Oh, like, oh. <laughs> strike three, you're out. <laughs> you know what? No more snails. Like, the only, the only possible way that I could make excuses for them being like, oh, he turned into a snail. That's really weird. Is the fact that like in the beginning it was established that everyone feels like kind of tired and slow in this town. Yeah. And I was like, I don't maybe like Maybe they already maybe all they been just, affected. Maybe they just process things like super weird, like really oh. slowly, like oh, he's a snail. So pretty much they all have been affected maybe from the beginning. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. I guess it's just because they were in that's this the, town. I guess that's the, that's they pretty much the it. only explanation I could think of. Because other than that, like somebody turned into a like a freaking snail right in front of you and laid eggs, I'd be like, okay, fuck something, that. Sure. something fuck is that. wrong. Can I just say, fuck <laughs> that? No. Two guys, no, no. I mean, no offense. Two guys having sex, fine, whatever. They can do that. Two snail guys having sex and reproducing via eggs is just weird. That were previously human. <laughs> Like, it's that natural, were previously Daza. Hey, homosexuality is present in like every single species. The problem here is that they're human, but not they're snails. No, they're That's, snails yeah. now. Yeah, no, no, it's weird about it. No, you so guys know it's totally weird. normal. I don't know what your guys' problems are. All right, now I guess snail, snail equality. Snails have quality. this kind of metaphysical Snail's that they have. That's sex a shirt. Love. They're hermaphrodites. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. All right, and I get that. But it's just. Can you guys hear that? Do what? What? Never mind. Yes, Somebody it's, was bumping it's like a... hard. I came through here just like thugging it real hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was like. Oh, uh, it's like what? he's in my house. <laughs> Maybe he is. They're in my head. They're in my head. The They're spiral. In head. It's a spiral. <laughs> you guys Dodger, <laughs> Dodger, your back has a little bump. No. Mm. No. Listen, the bumps. Sorry, Dasa, go on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pumped. I'm just the snails. I'm just like this part. This that I oh yeah. I want to. I want to have one more thing about the snails, really quick. No, like, I still have snail. I didn't. I didn't really like. I didn't feel like throwing up, but I actually felt like deep inside. I felt like a little nauseous. I don't know if anybody else like with the snails. Yeah. yeah. Like I actually just with, felt just a with them bit existing. Sick. No, with them like turning into a snail. Like the first oh. guy turned into a snail. No, I didn't and, like, care about that. When his I eyes <laughs> popping out, I was kind of like. <laughs> The only, the thing I about the snails that really <laughs> creeped me out was when people were like, we should just eat them. Oh yeah. god. Like, 
no. no. That's and a, he that's a whole went, level. went he into out. like crawling that's... into the shell to get to him. Oh my god. When he was like, we should eat him while he's alive. I was like, oh god, oh, oh my god. When they found, when they found I, Stanley and level... the girl ate it, the main character girl ate it as well. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. She only ate it after her boyfriend did. Yeah. Peer pressure. There's a level here where the snails can't get any creepier, then it just it gets higher and higher. I'm just like, uh, You're like, stop! <laughs> no! And it gets worse and worse. I thought the about... snail. I thought the snail thing would like go away, kind of like the the whole like uh girl and boy and girl that couldn't like be together. How they kind of like became oh, one. And they turned and into like, a fish away. and flew away. <laughs> <laughs> the Loch Ness monster. But yeah, like, I thought the snail would go away. Well. It's like manga here. It's so creepy when, like, they were like, we'll be together forever, and then they just started, like, intertwining, and just all, and I was like, too How much. How do the thing? Too much. Yeah, those things. things. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Swim away. One I, I, of I think, the cre- Huh? I was kind of happy that doing, like, a Romeo and Juliet thing, I thought it was sweet, no, and then it's just like, I know. Yeah, so it, it's, it's just like... disgusting. Weird. David, um, listen, I would never spiral with you. I'm sorry. I want to do it. Can we can we talk about another super gross thing? Yeah. Can we talk so about fine. um the mosquito moms? I was just gonna oh say that. God. That's what I was gonna say after we talked about the snails. I was like, we need to talk about the freaking pregnant women being terrifying and drilling and people babies. so that, that they can drink whole their story. Blood. Yeah, the whole thing. The babies and the mushrooms uh, and the oh baby God, getting the sewn back into the mom. I all of it. See, I was fine up to a point. Uh. <laughs> it was a point where it was like, see the drilling and the stuff, I'm like, okay, I can deal with that, you know? Sucking blood, okay, that's fine. The mushrooms were weird. The placenta, and, the placenta the mushrooms. Placenta. Yeah. The placenta mushrooms were weird, and I'm just like, okay, like, in well, some cultures, that's I fine. Can't eat. I just can't eat while we, while we talk about this. Right, but then, go, it's just like, they had the whole... <laughs> The, the panels where the baby goes back into the mum and the mother is just all sewn up and I'm just yeah. like that that uh, that's where I'm done. Yeah, and, dude. Okay, I didn't want to like, talk about. Sorry, keep going. I didn't want to talk about drawing at the moment because I, just, I didn't want to. We won't go against that later. But just the it. way everything is drawn is so creepy and yeah. it just adds so much more of that element, like the snails being eaten. Uh, turning into the snails were creepy. The placenta mushrooms were weird. The, the babies and... The babies! Oh my... Babies. I want to be a mother so bad and this makes me not. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, really I do not it. want a placenta baby. I <laughs> want a placenta mushroom. Oh my god. And like, um, I think that's the first... I think that's really the first time that we see just the normal people in town act super crazy too because mm -hmm. like they're they all really love this new like mushroom this new meat that's being used and everything and then there's that moment when she's trying like the main girl i can't remember her name kitty? she's like kitty yeah, kitty yeah. kitty and she's trying to get away and it's like and all of these people come in and instead of helping her eat the mushrooms and then they get the placenta the mushrooms i was like like that was the first, I think that that was the first time in the manga where we see people just like go crazy. Like mm -hmm. normal people just yeah. like get. I think so, yeah. Thrown into this weird madness where they're just like, oh, those mushrooms, I have to have those mushrooms. And then yeah. they all got eaten by the moms. And I was just like, oh my God, yeah. It just kept me? talking, oh, like it just kept escalating to like the entire it time you're like, you're like, okay. Yes. Spiral. <laughs> I feel like we need to have a spiral counter. <laughs> spiral twist. pun. Spiral pun counter. But yeah. it just kept escalating. Like, did any of you see that story ending with the baby being sewn back up into the mom? With yeah, placenta no. mushrooms growing all around. Like, why was I reading this? Why, why am I reading this? I don't get it. <laughs> I just don't understand. <laughs> I, I, I will have to say, if you saw that coming, What's wrong with you? Exactly. Exactly. And that's you're what's, like That's what's so fascinating. Like I'm always so intrigued when somebody can make a story and make things like this. Like I'm just like I want to know not what a, like else... super messed up person. Exactly. It's like I want to know what else. I want to read every single thing this guy has done because it's just so awesome the fact that he's able to come up like these 
story yeah. ideas where he takes something so simple and makes it so terrifying. Like, everybody sees spirals. Spirals are everyday life. And mm -hmm. now it's like, just, they're terrifying. Like, they're so creepy. I know. Yeah, and like, um, going way back, I think the first time that I started thinking to myself, God, how deep did you plan this? Was right off the bat in, um, in chapter two, after the mom stabbed her ear, because there was a spiral in her ear. And, uh, and then it was saying that until the day she died, she had the spins because she had ruined her ear. Like yeah. the spirals just, she literally couldn't get away from them. And I was like, that is fucking brilliant. Like, like it's <laughs> crazy, but it's like genius. You know, you, there is a spiral in your ear. If you mess up your ear, then you you're going to have the spins and you're going to have vertigo. It's just like, yeah. oh my God, you can't get away from it. I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> And what's super crazy. interesting, like, I mean, this is kind of art thing, but like the detail, all the grass had little spiral. Like mm -hmm. there was so many random little spirals that he put into the yeah, detail where like everywhere. you were just seeing it and it just ingrained into your brain. It's like one of those things where you're supposed to like stare at something and then you blink and something else it's like there still in your mind. It was that <laughs> it was just ingrained like behind your eyelids and you just see it. Everywhere. Check out my Christmas tree. Get that, get that yeah. out. Get it out. Get it out. Why did, how do you live with that sitting next to you? How are I didn't you notice saying? until just then, and I looked at it, I'm just like... Like, oh. I was surprised that they never really talked about the, um, the Fibonacci spiral. They never, like, oh, mentioned yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's like, um, Yeah, I thought, I mean, it might have felt a little heavy-handed, to be like, the Fibonacci spiral is actually, you know, part well, of mathematics and science and art and all sorts of, like, life and I, blah, blah, blah. I think um, they had those those uh, other chapters, like, not other chapters, but those, those pages at the end of the chapters where they had oh. the manga where he was oh, researching right. spirals. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that could have been a part of it. But also, you see a lot of, um, like, Fibonacci spirals and stuff in web pages. Yeah. Like, because the web page, it kind of, you have the whole, it, it, the big up there, then it goes into all the information. Like, right. even I've um, got mail up, and you've got, like, the picture in one corner, and it kind of spirals with all the information. That's how it works. That's how Twitter right. works, and have all that kind of stuff. Uh, they didn't really have web pages back then, because it was only, like, the early, it was only the late naughty, uh, early, late naughties. The, yeah. the naughties? Late 90s it was made, so, yeah. um... They didn't really have spiral web pages back then, so I don't think they had that much to kind of go on with either. But I get what you mean. It was just yeah, yeah. it's ah, spirals like, are just like I mean, spirals I are mean, already fascinating, and then now, <laughs> like I'm re like looking at my like Suritama Blu-ray right now. It's got a, it's got like a spiral on its logo. Uh, and nothing can back, make Suritama less adorable and sweet. I'm sorry, you're not even a spiral. You know, spirals everywhere. Us. Freaking can, can I talk about another part of the manga? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, another thing that I did not see coming at all was the row houses. How the row houses yes. were going to get involved. Oh, that and was they so were rough. a huge part. Yeah, and also, I don't understand why they were like, oh, the row houses are the only safe places. But there was that one row house where they all got the boils. Yeah. The, like, spiral boils. I was like, mm. if they're safe. That was a weird. Why that is this one not safe? Yeah. Did they ever explain that? No. Not what? They didn't explain so. why that one had, like, the warts and stuff. And that was the only one. That was the well, only we, one. We don't they know mentioned though, because... it again. That's right. Yeah. We don't really know if there was any more that had them because we don't really spend any other time but being around the main girl. Yeah. And like the ha the row house is slowly getting like fuller and fuller and yeah, fuller. And the, the people and twisted the people around twisting. each other eventually. Oh god. And like the part where they're like, hey, can you take care of this body? And then they like just push it out and it's just horribly mangled. <laughs> yeah, that was gross when they were like Hey, we had to untangle this body from us. It's dead. Can you get rid of it? It's just like it's starting to smell, and it's just like what? Something and what's that... up with all that? What's up with all that time? Like the the time difference when they were like searching for a way out in the, in the oh, forest. Yeah. Like years. It years was like 
It was just a circle. Like, it was a spin. Like, a spiral. They just kept going yeah, in circles. Yeah, yeah, but how... Yeah. how what, it was what just was a town. Like? like, it was I mean, I think, the supernatural I think it's, part of it. Yeah, I think that's what Dazzo just said, is that, like, it was literally spiraling out of control. Like, there was just right, no um, control over it. just uh, happened. Well, so, just, thought, no, just because they, they kind of went out of the city a bit, it wasn't affecting them as much? Because it was still... No, 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 okay. All right. What kind of was happening was that, um, see, time kind of moves on a plane. And oh, this is going to get a bit confusing. And Gosh. if you go off that plane of time, time can move either slower or faster. Think about when you go to light speed. If you go light speed, time actually moves slow for you. Yeah. So think about all right. Um, so if you're say going light speed through somewhere, uh, going through space or whatever, you come back, you will be noticeably younger than everyone around you because mm -hmm. you've gone through this period of time, which is a lot faster for everyone outside that period. That's so right. that's kind of what's happened here. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get you. I get you. I... Um, if you want to see a real world adaptation of that, what you do is you get two stopwatches, right? Leave one on your bench at home and take one driving with you. Just take it driving. Just go driving for about a few hours. Come back. Those two stopwatches will be out of sync of time. Huh. You just got yeah. scienced. You just got science real That's hard. Science. That's the doctor. Ooh. The doctor just taught that us. That is That a was doctor. really interesting. That is the doctor. Um, <laughs> something I wanted to talk about was uh, the pacing of the story, um, especially after the little time skip when the reporter started going and it became the whole thing where, like, everybody was dying and the hurricanes and, like, all the winds were coming. Yeah, and now it just escalated. Slow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what I thought was interesting was the entire time I was reading it, <clears throat> I had this, like, I kept believing <clears throat> that they were going to get out. Like, there was always this sliver of hope and belief that I was like, it's going to somehow end okay. But <laughs> <laughs> even though it was all this horrible stuff, but they're like, it was just like with the characters, they kept trying. And but it ultimately became how we all like are gonna meet the demise. Like there was no way they're actually gonna ever get out of that. But it's just whole fascinating, like just how they kept trying. And because of that, you still kept believing, especially the main girl. You're like, they've gone I, through all yeah. of this stuff. There's like, there's the mountains, there's this thing that she's walking down that could possibly go. And like, he's like, you've got to survive. You've got to, he gives a whole inspirational speech. And yet she still dies. And then the whole yeah. town gets wiped off. Like nobody knows what happens. And so it's just that whole idea that this horrible, terrifying thing that has happened, but nobody, like, it becomes completely forgotten. Like, it mm -hmm. becomes, until it happens again. And mm -hmm. so just that whole idea was really fascinating, yeah. I thought. I really like that as well. Um, I like it when, like, instead of having the whole, oh, we made it kind of speech at the end, and it's ending the manga there, they ended with them dead, but yeah. still together. Like, frozen literally. in time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. It was it was different, and I like that. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely something I, I did as well, kind of, because yeah, they did. They kept trying and trying, like he put that the manga put that hope into you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, like he purposely mm -hmm. put that in into like because the, the characters they just never gave up. How many times did they, they tried? Like probably almost a dozen times to get out, yeah. but they couldn't. And in the end, and they like, all perished. He, he brought that hope up like subtly too, with like, okay, the. Reporter lady got drug in, but, you know, she's still fighting. And then, like, the brother, like, she let him go and was like, okay, we're going to come back for you. And then she's like, okay, we're going to go back for my mom. Okay, we're going to find my dad. Like, you kept being like, okay, they're going to obviously go back and find these people. And, like, right. this obviously doesn't get – and, like, it's just a whole idea that no matter how you're like, okay, I have all this stuff I still have to do, like, it doesn't matter. You're going to die when you're going to die. Like, yeah. all this you – don't, you don't have time to, like, wrap up loose ends when you're going to die. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I totally agree with that. There was a, I think the moment when I was like, oh man, are they gonna like, are they gonna, gonna start the end of this? Like figure out how to get out at this point is when the spiral showed up on her brother's back and she was like, it was then that I knew I needed to get out, you know? And I was like, oh, now it's gonna ramp up. We're gonna, yeah. they're gonna like get out of there, right? The beginning of the end. <laughs> yeah, but like, but it really does like slowly. You just lose hope. You're mm -hmm. like, oh man, I don't know if is this gonna really end this way? And then it totally does, and you're like, everybody dies. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. You start losing hope slowly because 
No, Dazzle, get out! Dazzle, it's like stop it. The it's girl, gonna turn into the, a spiky mole. Spiky <laughs> mole. Spiky mole. Spiky mole. mole. Spiky mole. Spiky war. Well, yeah, first the the, uh, the reporter girl gets cut up. Yeah. Then, then they find that center. Her boyfriend gets pretty much. Well, first she gets bitten by that, but like, and the boyfriend gets like pretty much thrown down. She gets down there. She finds her parents like solidified as like stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then like her boyfriend's like, oh, I, I can't go on. And then like, there's no way she's gonna get out of there already. Like, there's yeah. just nothing. This it's this it whole like other yeah. world of spirals, just like spirals everywhere. Yeah. So that's kind of like, if if somehow he did end up getting her out of there. It just wouldn't have felt like the, the ending would not have been as good at all. Like I totally it just, agree. Yeah. Just by just by them, like it just it just made like the ending perfect. Like even though they died, which is not really perfect for them. I agree with you, know? you though. They like they they it was it was beautiful in a way because they yeah. they kind of like grabbed their hands and it's spiraled. <laughs> <You're just laughs> and like, they like they and their hands. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like their hands, they, like, stayed, like spiraled it, and then hugged It was romantic-ish. It was romantic. And then that's it. Yeah. It was the and ending that they deserved. Yeah. No, I yeah, I agree. Like the ending, like it can always feel like a cop out, where like, oh, everybody just died. That's just how it ends. But like, it felt like that was the only way to end it. If he had ended yeah. it any other way, like I think all of us would be like, Ugh. in the end, it like she didn't win. Because she didn't get out, she didn't save her parents, she didn't save everybody. But it kind of felt like she 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 died with she died happy. You she know, died peacefully, she, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. she felt she felt it felt like she won in a way, like yeah. because because she, I, like she she wasn't given into this whole thing pretty much the whole time, even though she did eat the snails. But she wasn't going crazy. She wasn't like oh snails, you know. So like the same thing with her boyfriend in a way, even though he was kind of like insane a little bit. Like she kind of like gave in to this whole thing of her own free will. She's like, you know what? We're here together. There's no way I I can get out of here myself. Like, let's just end this right now. And, yeah, and she kind of gave one. in and let go. You know? So that's kind of cool. The only other way I could see it ending at all was that if she was the only one that is, is, uh, bleh, the only one that escaped, she was the Twice. only one who left. But she left with a spiral on her, and then uh... took the spiral with her. I think that's the only other way and, like, of ending. This is the whole world. <laughs> no, the whole world becomes a spell. I think she becomes a black right, hole. Like, like, I think that this oh, was God. the only really beautiful ending. Yeah, definitely. Like, ending that felt really, satisfying. like, complete. It was very and, satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It was, that was crazy. Um, I, I, so I really like the ending, so. Yeah. Yeah, like you guys, it was so it was satisfying. Like, even yeah, yeah. Would, like it was really satisfying. Um, up, it was though. twisted, but it was perfect. Twisted. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Let me ask you guys a question. If it was longer than twenty chapters, would you guys enjoy it? You think as much? I feel it like it was how perfect. It I feel like it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm very the way happy it was it, paced. The way everything was introduced, I feel like if it had gone any longer, he would have had to force so much. And I think he planned it out very intelligently. Like, the way mm -hmm. it was planned out. Like, you guys were... It kind like, of kinda felt like I watched, like, a horror film, in a way. You yeah. know, instead of... You know, like, when you when you go into some other manga, there's, like, a hundred plus chapters or whatever. And you have to invest all this time. Like, I, I'm very happy I read it in one sitting. Because I don't think I, I would have enjoyed it as much because I was just completely in the story. Uh, then I would have time to think, and I might have even ended up not liking it or hating it. And be like, oh, what the fuck is this? I'm reading all these like babies being sewed into stomachs and, and snails <laughs> everywhere. Like, but this? I read it all in one go. But if it was like 50, 100 chapters or whatever, like, I don't know. I, I don't think I would like it. It would just, it would just lose, lose that like oh, touch that it yeah. has. I yeah, guess. definitely. So it definitely, I, I think the, it's definitely one of those manga that needs to be like read in one two sittings like it's mm -hmm. not one of those that you you will keep coming back to it's just yeah. it's I, I think the only other thing they could do with the the actual series itself is they wanted to expand on it we're looking at different characters yeah i think they could do like maybe five chapters on different characters before they die but that's about it mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like and what they experienced with the spirals but i, I, I kind of want to i want to know more about the black hole deal that's what yeah, I black. Oh god. Because uh, she, yeah, we had a little back like background thing when she's like, you know, she got every guy she liked, and she, we we know how she got that scar. But why did that scar turn into a spiral? 
and like all, all that shit, you know, and, and uh, how uh, it ended up with her just completely turning into a black hole, like and like her going crazy, like like I've oh, never, man. I've never felt this before. I got I like now I know how it feels, how guys feel towards me. You know, they yeah. don't want me. They want me, but they can't have me. Now I want you, and you, I can't have you. Ah, you know, like that, yeah. that was yeah. like, Some, that was intense. Something you saying that brings up a really good point. Um with how like everybody starts like going like obsessive and getting going crazier like as somebody who has like bipolar and has experienced like those episodes they mm -hmm. are very circular like they're very constantly going in circles and so like it makes sense like why some you could describe it as like all of a sudden just as the spirals get more intense like it's a really good representation of mm. like that kind of thing when right you're going yeah. through that like an emotional so, like, spiral yeah, yeah, the emotional yeah. spiral. And so, yeah, that's another thing that you're like, he probably did that on purpose. Like, it's another whole, like... Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Cool. Uh, th this this so whole smart. manga... So good. Just because... Another reason why it's good that it's short is that he had... He had it all planned out. This is not yeah. one of those where he just, like, started, like, oh, we'll just see where this, you know, spirals. That was the only reason he made it. Because he wants that. That tagline. No, but... No, but... <laughs> Jacqueline is just like spirals out of control. That'll be her. That, that's like the trailer right there. That guy with the deep voice spirals out of control. The, but like <laughs> seriously, he had this whole thing planned out. And the more you like, like the more we discuss it, the more we think about it, the more we go, go in depth talking about these scenes. There's a lot more than just like you know like people going insane and, and like all this like that stuff happening. You know about the whole people eating the snails. About people turning like even though they're human, they they were human. Like this dude was. Freaking! He was. He had that that guy on a leash before he turned into a snail, and then he that ate him raw. Gross. Like that's you. There's so much depth to this manga. Like so you wouldn't much. think because you would look at it all. This is so disturbing. Ah, oh, nice to get it out of my face. But if you dig deeper, is it's crazy what you can find. Like it's yeah. so. It, it's just this. It's it's this disturbing. Like even on a like our level, like real level, like what yeah. it actually happening in this world. So this this guy definitely like had something in mind when he was. He's a master. His... Yeah. I feel like we have master. to read. Master we have to read more of his manga on future manga plots. He, oh, we definitely gotta read yeah. Gyo. Yeah. I I haven't I haven't read it. What is Gyo uh, about? I, 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 oh yeah, definitely. I want to read Gyo. It's all right. The manga Gyo, is different. Uh, right? Without it's... spoiling it, it the manga story isn't as different. It's just the way they change parts of it. It's basically uh, okay, a, a stench makes fish come alive and kill people that's as it's far weird. as i'm zombie okay. fish there we go yes. zombie fish yes zombie that's... fish all right we thought spirals couldn't be disturbing i, suggest, I know I, I suggest if we if we do read it or when we do read it we should watch the movie as well okay. or the oba movie because okay. it's uh, uh, be nice. I, I, it'll be a very fun comparison it'll be a very I, fun comparison mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Come on, man. That movie was so bad it was good. Okay, guys. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> let's, um, let's jump into art really quick. Let's talk about art, and then we'll Epic. jump... Um, let's talk about art, and then we'll give our final thoughts and ratings. That was, okay. that was shadowing. Very good so. shadowing. That definitely... That very like, good everything. Very Yeah, very good art. Like, yeah. that's another good reason why it was 20 chapters, because he freaking put all that time and effort into these 20 chapters instead of, yeah. like... Five million chapters. Dude, can you imagine him just sitting there drawing those spirals oh over and over and over again? I would go nuts. I yeah. would legitimately go crazy. I think he I, he would have... No offense to the guy, but he would have to be a little bit mental yeah. to be able to do something like this. Even though I know probably most of the spirals were done by the assistants. Um, if you read Spark and Yeah. But the, the, yeah, those poor assistants. <laughs> But they're probably just, like an asylum somewhere, like like spirals. Yes. <laughs> apparently, yes. someone, someone in chat actually said that apparently the people who did the shadowing and the assistant work was his wife and his mother. Wow, what? that's interesting. So huh. if that's true. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. My mother and would be like, like, ah, nah, screw yeah. this. Fuck this. Get out of my face. <laughs> yeah, Go eat you. your ramen. <laughs> I want to play Facebook games. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, um, I think the detail, like I was saying, the detail in all the panels and just the shading you guys are saying, all the way it was looked, especially how when we look from Kirei's point of view, was just yeah. very well done. Like her perspective, it was 
incredibly well done. And just the fact that he would draw a spiral and you would see it and instantly be creeped out by it. It's just like, no yeah. matter, he made spirals all kind of, but they all made, look a little spirals different. creepy. He made spirals creepy and they would all look a little different from one at times. And you're just like, like the snail was different. Like the snail spiral was different from the dad spiral was different from the tornado was different from the ashes. Like it was all just like each spiral had its own little quirk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really, my, it's my, really cool that not, not only when you dig deeper into the story, you find a lot more to it. Mm -hmm. Like when you yeah. look at the art, like if you actually like take a couple of those, like two, two page, like spreads or even just like regular pages and you just kind of like pace close detail, like you said, Aaron, there's spirals everywhere mm -hmm. like you wouldn't even know it's gonna be like instead of a cloud it'll be kind of like a spiraling cloud and like, yeah. like it's just like in the water there's just like you know like you know like how uh, some li little drop falls and like like ripples in the, in the like, yeah there's stuff like that everywhere, everywhere which is like you have to dig deeper with this manga it's, yeah. it's crazy because this it's, manga is crazy the, the art is so detailed that every nuance is spiral he mm -hmm. literally has spirals in everything and it's absolutely perfect the way he does it as as I think Aaron said earlier, it just uh, just the art gets in your head and you make it look like look for spirals in the art itself. And the yeah. art, the, the, it's very detailed. Like if you just don't pay attention to it for like five minutes, don't read any of the words, just have a look at the art. You see it. I think one of the best use of that was the actual the mushroom placenta mushroom things in that room. It's like and two page spread. At, yeah. yeah, you just look at that. And you see all the little spirals on. First you mushrooms. puke, and then you see all the spirals. Uh, yeah, yeah, you puke yeah. all over what you're. Reading. And then you see that your puke kind of has like spirals. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, you're like, and you throw like up again. No, you look, you look down on your desk, and your puke is like slowly turning into a spiral oh, in front God. of your eyes. Okay, and you just and pass then, out. And then focus. You just <laughs> hands, and like, oh my gosh, my hands are spirals. And, just, and then you oh just pass God. out, and then you wake yeah. up, and then there's like, there's like this, this uh, centipede Same. climbing to your ear. Oh god, okay. <laughs> yeah. Nope, we're things. not sleeping tonight. Uh, Dodger, what were your thoughts on the art? Oh god, I thought it was beautiful. Like, it was it was really perfect for a horror manga. Like, I can't... There, there are many art styles that I think would have worked with this. And it was yeah. so... It was so detailed and he was so skilled at how he put everything together and how he composed like every single page um yeah it was just incredible like yeah well, let's have a look at something um okay. yeah i was like we can wrap up and give our final there's so much i want to talk about i'm just yeah, like we, I still, like we, we haven't could... even like talked about the dad like how crazy I the know. dad got. he's like he's like, like i don't even care if we can get out of here i'm not getting out of here i'm making freaking spiral pot pottery it's screw you guys all pottery stuff <laughs> yeah and how like he was totally fine with the fact that not totally fine but like willing to overlook the fact that when he put his pots into the oven like he could see people like it's screaming, screaming like oven. help me like like what's up with that like were they actually like because he got the pot like the 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 mud from that lake so was that actually them he was actually torturing them to make his pottery which is very messed up dude don't do that yeah yeah stop torturing those ashes and it's crazy how like the the, the son heard that over the phone <laughs> yeah Man. yeah that's some good ears so strange yeah some good ears I, I was freaked out as as soon as like I saw the spirals in the the the, the pottery. I'm just like he got that much from the lake. He couldn't do anything else but that. Yeah, yeah. The lake. And was we, we did, it we, was we at the center spoke, of everything. Yeah, and we didn't even speak about the whole spiral world. Oh, underneath. Yeah, what that is. It's just it's it's a spiral world of like spiral people as as the cement. That's what it is. Yeah, it creates itself. Yeah. Through see, that's I'm wonder. That's what I wondered if is if like that was basically what the town that we had this story in used to be but it like it's developed to the point that it's become that and then like the earth kind of like enough time passed that they had a huge layer of earth over them yeah and like a new town had cropped up so then it's just gonna keep going and it's just gonna be it's gonna be a spiral of history it's gonna be a cycle going over and over <laughs> But I guess, like, no, I guess that doesn't make sense because the row houses, right? So, That's like, true. that town was always there. Yeah. And then the bodies were just always pulled into the river. So that, that town oh, underneath right. is just made of 
hundreds of thousands of years of spiral victims' bodies, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's also the lighthouse with the kid who got burned. Uh, we didn't talk about that. That's right. That was really sad. That was another was thing where we're like, oh yeah, they're gonna the get out, and then... The lighthouse was pretty much connected to that world underneath, because remember yeah. when they got in, there was that like weird-looking spiral eye thingy? Mm -hmm. So that's... Yeah. That's yeah. They couldn't and then, don't forget, like, the, the whole, like, walls were spirals and... Everything. So Every path was a spiral. Yeah, and she and kept flying yeah. up, uh, up the lighthouse. she wanted her brother. Yeah. yeah it was, or, like, it kept just Her brother's going. a dummy. It's like, hey, would you just fun listen? What happened? Just what listen. Happened like, he, he, probably, he turned no, he, into he, a snail and he crawled down a wall. Yeah, where did he go? Oh, he dead. Where's, <laughs> he's a that's he's a snail person now. It's okay. That's it's fine. What if you like? Yeah, eat by a guy, maybe. Probably something. Yeah, yeah he's probably like laying eggs right now as we speak. Yeah, basically. Uh, I'm never gonna look at a snail again, ever. I don't want him. When you Aww. look at a snail last time, it's just a spiral. <laughs> oh my god, Aaron! Can you imagine if you like came over and I was like, I've decided to start keeping snails as pets. And I just had like a huge aquarium, just like filled with no, snails. No, like, I would table flip that and get you out of there. I would save you. I would be run, saving your life. Run. Get the cats! See, it, it, see, Aaron, if you have people missing from work after they go over to Dodge's place for like huh? a meeting, you'll know where they oh, went. No. They just like all start. Oh god, everyone's turning the snails. No. Oh. And you've been to France as well, so of course you probably had snails, isn't that right? They're delicious. Escargot yeah. is really go. good. It's really good. Not anymore, but it used to what be What does it great. taste like? Like what, like, compared? It tastes like garlic uh, and butter when you... <laughs> when you it, it reminds me a lot of... It's not as smoky tasting as mushrooms are, but, like, the, the texture is a little bit firmer, but similar to mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of oh, tastes... So it, it's, it has, like, it's actually a firm texture. It's not, like, all yeah. slimy. No, it's not slimy at all. It's not, like... You can't like you spread actually it on have bread. to chew it. You yeah. can't spread it on bread like butter. No. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm sure she you can't, could throw. You can't spread a snail. <laughs> you could throw a bunch of es like a ton of escargot into like a some sort of a food processor and make a escargot pate. I'm sure, but that would be gross. Well, you could deal with you could deal with that. You think? So. <laughs> I don't think I want to eat mushrooms or snails ever again. <laughs> Uh, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a, uh, a snail right now. Like, I, if somebody brought me a escargot right now, I'd probably eat it. Escargot is pretty good. Um, I'm lying. I, I really like it. Okay, let's get. Um, I know, like, because we have to keep this one short to an hour as possible because I'm hogging David's computer. <laughs> but let's wrap up and give our final thoughts. Even though I feel like we should just do an entire another manga pod when we get when we do Manua getting crunk with that Manua manga pod. We should talk more about Uzumaki. <laughs> Yeah, because the thing is, we're like, we're, we talked about a lot of stuff, and we didn't yeah. really write anything. I, I haven't write, wrote anything down. I don't know if you guys did, but if we I actually like, if, I know I never write anything down either. But I mean, if we did like kind of sit down beforehand and think of all the stuff that we could talk about, we could seriously do this for hours. Keep going. There's, on. Just, we can go for there's hours, so many layers yeah. to this. This this is crazy. So many. Crazy. Hey. Just cycles around. Yeah. Like um, I'm like oh no, I don't, I don't want to eat onions. I, <laughs> I onions. Just as well. I get terrified of my I love hair. Onions. I get terrified onions of my spirals. hair because onions are layer, layer, layer. That's why they have. Them. Yeah, but, but, but they're circular. Cut it half. It's just like, mm, yeah. Uh, I love uh, onions. Onions are great. Uh, I like to grill yeah. onions. I was saying, I get, I get really scared yeah. of my hair because I have natural curly hair and it's like ringlets. And so when I, I like first time after I read it, I washed my hair and just let it air dry. And I looked down and I saw it and I was like. <laughs> and your hair like goes up and it's <laughs> no, <laughs> no. David has to like cut out of <laughs> Well my final thoughts and rating. <laughs> uh-huh. I like I said, this manga is absolutely it's one of my favorite that we've read so far. And I am going to give it because what's already done, like I, I don't even know. Like it's one of the best, most perfect manga from beginning to end that I think I've read. And so I have to give it I don't know if I should give it a 10 or not. I want to give it a 10. Oh. I want to give it a 10. Oh. My heart, 9.5. I'll give it a 9.5 to a 10. <laughs> to a 10. 9.5 slash 10. But it is one of my favorite manga that we have read on Manga Pod. And it is like Dodger said earlier, it's one of my favorite manga now. And yeah. I don't like, it's really hard for me to get invested into a horror manga. And I thought this one was absolutely fantastic. And it's probably spoiled me on all horror manga for the rest of my life. Right? <laughs> so... That's my rating. 9.5 to a 10. It's, yeah. it's in there. I can go next. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, much like, uh, was it, was it Densho Otoko? 
Is that the... Yes. Yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. yeah. Um, I gave that a 10 because I thought that it was just like the perfect example of a romance manga for me. And mm -hmm. this one, I think, is like a perfect example of a horror manga for me. So I have to, I feel like I have to give it a 10. Like, I think it's just incredible. It's like so well done. And uh, I absolutely recommend it to anybody who's interested in anything like this. I think that it would kind of blow your mind. Yeah. <laughs> so. Nice. <laughs> nice answer. Very good explanation. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this definitely is a perfect, like, resuscitate. Res Did you just I can't speak Aranese? Quietese? Res no. I can't say that word. Why can't I say that? Representation. 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 You know you're in trouble. You know you're in trouble when I have to try and help you say a word. I can't say that. It's my, it's Rep my accent. It's Rep. It's my accent. I can't Representation? say. Representation. Shut up. That's like yeah. in, that's like interpretation rep. for me. Rep. All right. Rep. Teach rep. Me. Rep. It's a good Three. rep. It's a good rep. Three. Zen. Zen. Tation. Tation. Okay. Let's Representation. Go it's per. It's a perfect one. <laughs> <laughs> For horror, definitely. I, I definitely agree with that. And uh, like, I, I also agree with Aaron that now going and reading other horrors would probably be disappointing because they're not going to be as good. Most likely, I, I can't imagine like a horror being this in depth. Yeah. Um, like having so many layers because usually it's just like, oh, she fell down, she broke her neck, ah, you know, like a ghost appears, oh! you know, or something. It's it's lame. Yeah. But <laughs> this is very good. But I don't think I would give it a ten. I'd probably go with the nine point five, just like Aaron, uh, but not to a ten. Just nine nine point five. I think it's pretty good. There, it, it does get a little weird. It, it it is confusing at points here and there towards the end. So it's not like a hundred percent perfect, but it is very good. Like a hundred percent recommended, even though it's not for everyone, you know, because like yeah. like you said, some people could not even finish it for the manga yep. pod, uh, so it's not for everybody. So don't don't go in like you know with with like full like stomach. You just ate like a feast, and you're like, oh, I can't wait to read this. And then this is not a Thanksgiving manga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I found that out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like nine point five. I think I think that's a very fair score for it, and. I think if it was longer than 20 chapters, I, like I, I've mentioned that m multiple times that I'm very happy that it's only three volumes, 20 chapters, because if it was any further, I guess they could have explained some stuff more, so it could have possibly gotten better here and there, but I'd rather not take that risk. I'd rather have it the way it is now, uh, with that really good ending with uh, the way uh, pretty much like that happy, it's, it's not really happy ending, it's a sad happy ending, bittersweet ending in a way. I guess you could yeah. say. So yeah, nine point nine point five. All right, read it. Paula. Um, I'm kind of on the fence here. Like Yoku, I disagree with you. I think uh, leaving rest of it up to interpretation is the perfect way to kind of engross yourself more into the manga. But on one hand, I want to give it a nine point five because I don't want to give tens out because I don't believe tens should be given out. There are no tens. There are no 10s, and I will hate myself if I give something a 10 and I find something better. But on the, right. other, on the other hand, I can't think of anything that would be better than this. I try and read horror. I try and enjoy it. I try and watch horror anime, and I just can't get into it because everything is so cliched, and yeah. it just doesn't work. Nothing that's works. Forced. It feels forced. That's exactly. There is nothing here that there is nothing in anything else that I can see that is a original, b that engrosses me as much as this does. And where people say, "Oh, you should watch blah blah because it's so horrific and horror is perfect," I'm just like, I tried and it's just not great. And that's why I can't watch those shows. I can't watch horror and say it's good. I I don't enjoy them. <laughs> that's just that. Yeah. But for Uzumaki, I did. I loved it. It was perfect it was horrific it was original it was different and it just gets into your head so i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 what yay because i i don't think that there is anything that can probably top this for me in horror especially in manga and if someone finds it that something that can top this i I, I would kiss your feet, but I don't think <laughs> I will be. And I just think it's absolutely perfect. I think this manga looks great. 
it is great. It, the story is perfect. It's on, it's on track. It leaves everything up to interpretation at the end. We don't know how the how what it, the, the cycle probably continues. They could probably make Uzumaki two with whole new characters in the whole same story. You know, it's gruesome. It's horrific. It's perfect. I think. Um, the only criticism I can have is probably the characters weren't as fleshed out as what well, you hope. Mm -hmm. But I think that's also good to kind of put yourself into the shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, it's the classic kind of anime. You know, you're the protagonist and you put yourself into the shoes of the main character. Yeah. Um, so I think I, could, I couldn't do that in this one. If I was, if I put myself in the shoes, I'd flip out like freaking, I'd run like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, man? Yeah. Yoko would just be running, running away the yeah. entire manga pond. I, no, sorry, like, I don't, I don't care that, I don't care that the road never ends. I'll just keep running. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> The thing is, I would probably be more in this in this manga. I'd probably be more like the boyfriend and go mental. Yeah. Um, that's how. I think be. that's what a lot of people would be. Um, like right, the main girl does seem a bit dense, but hey, um, that's the only criticism I can really find as well. I don't think it was too long. I don't think it was too short. I think it was perfect. The uh, the drawings were perfect. I love the storytelling. Um, yeah, I think. Another only thing is just that people just don't care, and I'm just like, well, they should care, but it's probably the spirals at work. So, yeah, 10 out of 10, and enjoyment is going to be 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah! So, Highest yeah, rated I'm... manga on manga pod ever! Just saying. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Is it? Yeah! That last is one was... Is it even was... higher than... than uh, I'm pretty sure Densha. the last one was it's Densha. Densha. Yeah. This is my first 10, so I would have first to be First 10. I did, like, I think it was a 9.5 on Densha. This one's a 9.5 to a 10. So. I don't remember what I did. I gave Densha a ten. Well, there's a lovely, uh, there's a lovely spreadsheet that's yeah, phenomenal I, I, I looked, made I looked, for us. I looked really through cool. that. I did look through yeah. that. Um, sweet. So that wraps up our discussion of Uzumaki. The whole thing. We obviously recommend it 100. If you're into this type of story, you should at least go and read the first chapter. Find out if you're into it. Um, next week, Dazza, do you have it pulled up? I can look if you do not. Well, I have it all pulled up, yeah. Awesome. Next week, they have to guess yeah. what we're reading. Yeah, we have to guess. See, I yeah. saw it myself. <coughs> I have to guess as well. Hit us with your Dr. Dazzler Dushrara on. Alright. <clears throat> it's the spring of freshman year, and Kanji Sa Sasahara is in a quandary. Should he fulfill his long cherished dream of joining an otaku club? Sasuke. Kasuba Kasukabe also faces a dilemma. Can she ever turn her boyfriend, anime fanboy Kosaka, into a normal guy? Kanji triumphs when Sasuke fails, and both Kanji and Kosaka signs up for <clears throat> an anime club. Or the, the Society for the Study of Modern Visual Culture. Undeterred, Saki chases Kosuka through the various activities of the club, from costume playing and comic conventions to video gaming and collecting anime figures, learning more than she ever wanted to about the humorous world of the Japanese fan, Otaku, and Genshiken. Does anybody guess? People in chat are guessing it. Yoku, like your face, no your face during that was so funny. You're like... Well, because I... I, I, I... I forgot that we actually talked about what the next manga was like before we did this. <laughs> and I was like, like, oh, okay. Uh, what? Yes. What? So that is what we are reading next week. We are reading chapters one through eighteen, volumes one through three. So All right. Firstly, what... before we finish off, I just want to say we are reading the original Genshiken, not Genshiken second season that aired a few, uh, like a few, a few seasons ago. We are reading the original Genshiken, the first one that came out. Is the one that's linked on the schedule the correct one? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Cool. I did it. Uh, I was just wanted to like because people would be probably be asking, do you mean this one or that one? No, the yeah. original one, the first one that came out, and yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So that is what we are reading for next week. It's going to be a little bit more lighthearted than the last few weeks have been, considering all of the. the little, we need a little hey, bit of fluff. We need a little bit of fluff. We need a break. We need happiness in our lives. Speaking of happiness, you can find me at youtubecom slash happily. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> if you'd like to find me, um, 
you can find me on my YouTube channel where I do anime reviews and I also do anime first impressions and all of the previous manga pods are also hosted there. I also do weekly reviews of Kuroko no Basuke episodes um, and I also do a bunch of mental health awareness stuff and 12 days of anime will be starting up here soon so you should definitely get That's involved with that. Awesome. Yeah. Dasa has all the information but there's an intro video on... Oh wait, are you mad that I was talking about that? No, I was just... Okay, I can stop. No, That's fine. me. You, <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Happily Aaron at everything Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, Miami Hus Hummingbird. Find me on Hummingbird. I use Hummingbird a lot. Instagram things. There you go. Happily Aaron. Yay! <laughs> and all the other manga pods are on her YouTube channel. Did oh, you did that? I not? I thought I said that. Did I not say that? You did. say that, yeah. Okay. Well, you complete me, so it's okay. <laughs> help me when I forget so <laughs> I just figured I'd throw it in there um before I say all my stuff if you need something a little bit lighter that's about spirals to watch to like cleanse your brain um there's a girl on YouTube called Vihart V-I-H-A-R-T and she does like all math videos that are really cute uh and she has one called doodling in math spirals Fibonacci and being a plant Ooh. And uh, it's super cute, mm -hmm. and it kind of explains like the Fibonacci spiral and spirals in general, and how they apply to math and nature and everything. It's super cool. Awesome. But um, yeah, so that's that could be a fun thing to watch now that we're all creeped out by them. But <laughs> uh, I am Dodger. I'm at YouTube.com/slash Press Start to Continue, where I do gaming stuff, and YouTube.com/slash Dexterity Bonus, where I do daily vlogs and drink coffee and talk to my cats. And. Uh, <laughs> On all of the social stuff, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, etc., I am DexBonus, D-E-X-B-O-N-U-S. So, come follow me. Yeah. And stuff. And stuff. Uh, it's been so promise. long since we've heard this. <gasps> oh my gosh, so it's coming. Go. It's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. coming. It's, it's coming. My least favorite part about doing these podcasts. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay. I'm Yokorama. <laughs> You can find me on, on youtube.com <laughs> slash Yokorama Game Talk, where I do not talk about games. Surprise. Yes! Surprise, surprise. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. And, like, <gasps> even though I said I was going to come back on that, I made a video saying I'm going to come back making videos, but a lot of st st stuff went down around where I live. Uh, so I haven't made a video in like two Psych. weeks after I made that video. Yeah, that was that was uh, April Fool's, early April Fool's joke. Uh, but I will be back oh, 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 oh. making videos with 12 Days of Anime for sure. Yay! Which, uh, uh, Aaron already mentioned and Daza, Daza, Daza is going to talk about more probably. Uh, yes. So yeah, I, I should have made already a video about that, but whatever. Yes! Uh, <laughs> whatever. YOLO! <laughs> yeah. And uh, you could also find me on uh, Yokorama News on YouTube where I haven't really made a video in a while, but there's a ton of videos on there. And uh, everywhere else, it's either Yokorama Talks, which is on Twitter, either Yokorama, which is like Tumblr, Inst uh, Instagram, I think, and also a Hummingbird and a bunch of other sites. Just search Yokorama, you'll probably find me. So that's all. Thank you. And don't forget Yokorama Russian. Yokorama hey, Russian! Shut up, Russian. Man. Yokorama Russian! <laughs> Hi, I'm going. Dazzler. You can find me at youtube.com slash nippon where I do anime reviews or going to do anime reviews coming. Um, I do what we've watched, a weekly show where we talk about what uh, we've watched in anime in the past week, where you guys can join in and do awesome video responses and you can be in the video yourself. Yay! Um, literally, it's fun. Like, I love watching your guys' responses. It's great. Uh, and I do first impressions Impressions or impre episode impressions, depending on what I feel like doing that week, and I've got coming up as three lovely people before. Two lovely people before. I thought there was three of us. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> um, what where... is math? Magnified. <laughs> That's not math. Where... Coming up soon is the 12 days of anime, starting on the 14th of December, where we count down the 12 best moments to all of us in anime, manga, light novels, or vision novels from the past year. To join in, all you have to do is make an intro video on your channel telling your subscribers that you are going to be part of it and linking them to the form where they can sign up and linking to the database where that form links into and you put all your information and everyone can find you. We've got about 50 people I think so far. It might be more now. I haven't really checked in the past few hours. And 
that we're all going to be making 12 videos over 12 days with our 12 best moments and it's going to be awesome, it's going to be grand and guys, just do it, it's fun and it brings the anime community together. Yeah, we're like a fantastic. family. We are a family. And this if is it like takes you a month, that's family, okay but, too. <laughs> but there's, this is an even bigger family. You know, this is it's the, like, our little it's the anime YouTube family and it's fantastic and we all love each other and I think everyone in the chat should do it and everyone here on MangaPod should do it too. <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what if I did it on Instagram? Can I do it? Can I do Instagram videos and be like, but, but next best moment. One things is you have to link to the database as well. So Just link it to the database in every single Instagram. <laughs> yes, that works. That'd be amazing. Awesome. Uh, um, oh, sorry. But yeah, I haven't finished yet. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so that's not going to be coming up, and it's going to be coming on at least three of our channels. So it's going to be awesome. You can also find me at youtube.com slash theedupdazzle, where I do other videos of other things that I feel like doing. Yay. And you can also find me on Twitter, at docdazzle. Find me on Hummingbird, docdazzle. You can find me on Tumblr, docdazzle. And Instagram, I think, it's docdazzle as well. So, yeah. Awesome. Uh, also, really quick, you can find all of our um, previous episodes, I think, for, except for, like, the last two, on iTunes. If you would like to listen to Munger Pod when you're doing something else, you know, you, you can do it now. Um, and also, if you would like to find our schedule for the next six months, the first six months of 2014, it is on our subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash manga pod, where you can go and post GIFs like Dodger is doing, which is awesome about the manga, manga reaction, GIFs reactions. Um, you can also check out that, and if you'd also like to recommend manga for Manga Pod to read, there is a recommendation thread that you can access on the right-hand side of that, which is awesome. So, However, yes. we know what we're reading up to June. Yes. Yeah. June 24th. Yeah, yeah. So, June. So if you're, don't if get you upset. If you recommend something, you'll wait a while. <laughs> yeah, but don't get upset. We can only read one manga a week, but we really love you guys. That's why you know that we are reading more Tower of God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guys, like, guys, 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 I think that is like the biggest, most requested manga. It Everyone's is. just like, we're gonna finish it. it, we're gonna finish the it, Tower and they're gonna be like, GTFO. where's more Tower of God? We're, where's more Tower of God? And we're like, they've only released another chapter, we can't talk about it. We're gonna yes. have to have like Tower of God pod. Tower of God pod. God pod. God pod. Yes, so um, there's all that information. Definitely check us out. We will be here same time, same place, twitch.tv slash happily air next week reading Genshikin chapters one Ch through. You have to have yep. faith in me sometimes, Zaza. I can do I it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> chapters one through 18, volumes one through three. Thank you all so much for joining us. If this was your first manga pod, we really appreciate you staying here and chatting with us in the chat and watching, leaving comments and stuff. We actually love having you join us and having you watch us talk about manga and talk about manga with us. It's always really awesome. Thank you guys so much, and we will see awesome. you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh -huh. Awesome.